All right. Now it's time to get into the finale finale of X-Men 97. What was back clips? Holy shit. At my crib. Yeah, my crib. Dude, I was like, I'm getting, I'm bringing the. We still, we still got to get the other ones. Yeah. By the the time X-Men 97 season two comes out, we'll have to give away. (laughs) No, no. Long before that. Long before that. (laughs) So this guy pre, this guy, this guy like pre-predicted his slacking. Like he like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slack until season two and then we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, by the end of the Fox X-Men run, <laughs> we, will yeah. have, we will have it. One of these days. Um, y'all y'all ready to get into it? You want me to take us, take us yeah. through? Yeah, yeah through. take us through, man. Okay. This was a cra- guys, this was a crazy episode and yeah. all I can say is that, wow, this, this episode... Just blew me. It just honestly blew me away because like it just shows we're we're back. Marvel really, really cooked. gave us some some yeah. good content. Cooked. Yeah, love it. Yeah, they cooked. <laughs> so we start out uh, flashback to Charles and and Magneto. They're at a bar. Uh, this is before they know that they are mutants. They're they're just kind of chilling, talking. Um, they're they're debating mutants' place in the world, um, and then. Uh, they reveal to each other that they are mutants. But this is actually not even a real flashback. This is yeah. all Professor X, X yeah. in mm-hmm. Magneto's mind. Right. Um, and he's he's trying to get Magneto to to fix what he's done to the Earth, fix the 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 uh, the power surge that he created yeah yeah destroying um, the planet basically. yeah yeah yeah. so he he's trying to talk it magneto doesn't know who he is he doesn't know who professor x is all that um then we go cut back out um and the x-men are all gathered and just watching as professor x is struggling with magneto yep. and wolverine's just on Laying the floor on the just past he looks like he's dead but he's not yeah. um and then we see Professor X does make Mag- Magneto reverse everything. He goes into his mind, makes him reverse the power surge and all that, um, which was a, a cool scene. I like that. And we get to see a a, just a whole of bunch of cameos yeah. as we see this surge yeah, go through. Yeah, name those, list those cameos. We got we Silver see. Samurai. We got Iron Man and Captain America yeah. chilling with the with President Kelly, and yeah. that's Iron. That is Iron Man from his animated series. Yeah. Um, we got Daredevil, which yeah. was super cool to see. Yeah. Uh, we got Cloak and Dagger. That's what I was interested in. Cloak and Dagger. Yeah. Cloak and was like, Dagger was hard. I couldn't remember where I where I because I knew about the characters. I didn't, I'm like because I because I, I never really yeah. knew about them like that, but I knew they were on. I think they were on. Amazing or the. The Ultimate Spider-Man series, animated series. I'm sure, I'm sure they were. Because that's uh, when that's when you had like Iron Fist, like um, you had um, Nova. You Nova, got, yeah. You got all them boys. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I think I think uh, that's where I knew Cloak and Dagger. That's when I seen them. I was like, okay, that's Cloak and Dagger. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We got Cloak and Dagger. Then we also get Doctor Strange, and he yep. he's like doing some medical stuff using his magic, which yeah. I thought was really cool. Um, we also see Omega Red. Yeah. Crimson Dynamo and Dark Star and they're yeah. like protecting this Russian president. Yeah. It looks like. Um and then we cut to Don't we see Black Panther though? Do we see him during that? I thought we seen him at a different point. M- maybe we do. We we also no, just listening cameos. Okay, so okay. Like, yeah. yeah. We also do see Black Panther, which I was think, hard. Yeah. He's got the cape and everything. Um so it looks like it's the same Black Panther, but it's it's T'Chaka, not yeah, T'Challa. T'Chaka. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not yeah. T'Challa. How do we know? He he when he's, he's on the screen, he's talking to them and and, and says, they call him T'Challa. Yeah. Oh okay, cool. I'm pretty sure. I forgot yeah. about that. Part. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Um. Anyway, then we cut to Sinister Bastion and Cable. Um. They're this is like leaving off from their fight. Um. And the Sentinels all have morph and Beast and, and Storm and Forge and they have them yeah, yeah. clutching in their hands mm-hmm. and Bastion's like debating with Storm complaining that oh I, I didn't wish to be born this way like I, I didn't want to become this and Storm says none choose to be born Bastion this is why we must never begrudge them being which 
Fire yeah. line. I, I love that from Storm. Um, Storm always had, like, I used to, I talk shit on one-liner characters all the time. <laughs> but Storm ain't a one-liner character either. She'd be spitting facts. Spitting spit facts. She do, yeah. Um, then we see the Prime Sentinels attacking everybody. They're attacking Captain America and Iron Man and, and, and uh, Daredevil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and that's where we see Wakanda yeah. and we see yeah. Black yeah. Panther. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, then we go and we see Bastion is toying with Cable. Um, he's he's like, how many how many times did you go back in time trying to fix this shit? How many times did you go like trying to fix it? He's, he uh, he says two hundred times. How's your mommy, Bastion? Which was which was fire. Whoa, it was a fire line. Um, because he said he, Bastion said, how many times did you try and save your carbon copy mother? And mm. that's why he said, yeah. how's your mommy? Because you know yeah. he knows he died or she died. Yeah. Um. Then that's that, crazy because the last episode you were like shitting on cable. What do you mean? Was I? The summer's family special. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But hey. he, he came back with a fire line. He, he came yes. back with a fire line. He made up for it. He made up for it. Which um, might be fire still. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which may, may maybe in like a couple of years would be we're gonna look back and be like, okay, maybe that wasn't a fire line. <laughs> I could see it. I could see it in a couple of years being like a corny line, but yeah. I don't know. I liked it. I, I thought it was I like it too. I like it too right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then we see Bastion is is like, okay, Sentinels kill kill Cable, um, and Sinister is blindsided. He he wanted Cable for himself. He was like, whoa, what happened to our deal? Um, yeah, he did. Yeah. Which I I didn't even realize. I don't know. I didn't realize throughout the whole show that he was still trying to get Cable back. I, I didn't realize that. I didn't that, realize so, that either. No, um, hmm. I, I didn't know until then. No. Then we see Jean, because she was, she was in this river or this lake, sinking, sinking, sinking. And then we see Jean use the power of the phoenix. She gets up. Oh, yeah. She gets the headpiece on Bastion. So <clears throat> this, this is such a tough scene. Um good animation yes they get the headpiece on bastion to like shut down his powers yeah, yeah. Um, which shuts down the sentinels yeah. and, and the prime yeah. sentinels and all that so how, how did how did a gene end up in the water again it was because it, it was at the end of the ep- yeah. last episode yeah. When they okay yeah because cable because got... cable had ended up was getting controlled by mr sinister mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes um and then we see gene and sinister kind of have a confrontation which i think this is one of my favorite parts in the in the thing where she just takes away all of Sinister's like mutant oh, abilities yeah. that he's been uh, that he's been yeah, holding on to. Like he's like an old shriveled up guy. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was crazy. yeah, I thought that was a crazy moment. Um, Bastion, yeah, he's tapped now. <laughs> like he's tapped. He's yeah. not doing shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can say goodbye to any Mister Sinister. Uh, he'll he'll be back. Yeah, he'll probably be yeah, back. Mr. Well, Sinister, like... Mr. Mister Sinister's always back. Yeah, he'll be back. What am I talking about? He'll be back. Um, then Bastion awakens and he rips off Cable's arm and starts beating him with his own arm, yeah, which was crazy. insane. And then he uses he uses the arm to like create this new body armor, which looked insane, like so fire. Yeah. Um, and then Bastion we, is like hello. Yeah. Hella crazy. Yeah. Bastion's yeah. insane, dude. Then we cut up to Astro and like Bastion. Yeah. Bastion. Yeah. We cut back up to Asteroid M. Everybody's in the Blackbird. Like, that's Professor X is in Magneto's mind, yep. and he's he's stuck in there. They're all tending to Wolverine. Yep. Um, and Jean has like a telepathic moment with uh, Cyclops, and it's telling him about Bastion, like powering up, and that he's coming to them because he he took off and fl- flew straight for them. Yeah. Um, and then Professor X, Professor X hops in on this like telekinetic moment and he's like telling them about what's going on in Magneto's mind and what he's trying to do. And they're like, well, you got to hurry because you could get stuck in there. Da, da, da. Yeah. And he, like, they, they even brought it up how, you know, Professor Xavier was like, this could destroy like both of our minds. if yeah. I don't do this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. So exactly. He's trying to make sure that he, they can both get out of there without mm-hmm. destroying their minds. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm pretty sure ultimately like a couple of like jumping a little forward. Uh, ultimately he, at first it does kind of like change his mind. He's like, who are you? Mm-hmm. Like he, like Professor Xavier is like in his mind. Yeah. And he's like, who, who, who are you supposed to be? What, what's going on here? Yeah. 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 So it is like slowly like, yeah, it is 
fucking with his mind. Right. right? Yep, yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, then we see Bastion. Bastion's arrived. He crashes into Asteroid M, goes straight for the power source. Yep. Um, and Rogue. On some goes, Superman y- stuff. Yeah, on some on thought some it, Superman stuff. I thought it was stuff. so far. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked so that far. a lot. Rogue hits Bastion, and uh, she said she says something about like, "Oh, do you know who you've killed?" And da da da. And she's like, "His name was Bandit." Rem- or Rem- Gambit. Remember, yeah, remember, remember it. <laughs> Bandit. I just can't say shit right today, man. Can't say shit right today. But then she goes after him after saying yeah. that and yeah. uh, goes after him. Uh, but Bastion's like regenerating, regenerating, regenerating. And then he goes to like kill Rogue. Um, and then we cut and we see Magneto and Professor Fox. X. He, wait, he killed Rogue? No, he like goes. He's like trying to kill oh. him. Um, then we cut to Magneto and Professor X. And Magneto's memories are like starting to come back, yep. and, and they're re- yep. starting to crash in on him. The waves are starting to come in on them yeah. as well, because they're stuck in this bar, but there's like an ocean around them, and there's like a boat and all this. Yeah. This way, these waves are crashing as he's as his memories are coming back. Yeah. Um, cut back to Rogue, and Costa is now in on the fight with uh, Bastion and Rogue, yeah. and Nightcrawler. Uh, Nightcrawler and Cyclops yeah. and Jubilee—they yeah. all get on the fight with Bastion. Yeah, it's just so a—it's just a big giant fight. I love yeah. Nightcrawler. And yes, Austin. yeah. And then and Jubilee's like um, punch. They're yeah, like Jubilee had a little moment. Her, yeah, destroys yes. Bastion's like side of his face. Hell yeah! Yes, Ju- hell yeah, yeah really Jubes. So <laughs> hell yeah, Jubes. Jubes with the, with the right. Cyclops goes to to shoot at Bastion and Bastion shoots back and they're like cross beam and he's like yes. you'll you'll never hurt my family again. <laughs> Classic Cyclops. Um, that is fucking sick. Yeah. And when he's fighting uh, Jubilee, another funny line uh, is he's like, uh, "What will you do? Uh, what will you do, child? Slay me with the Fourth of July?" Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, like I've never heard that before." And keeps yeah. fighting, fighting at it. I thought that was funny. Yeah, um, it was. Then we cut to Beast Storm, Gene, and Morph, and they're coming in because they got a sent. They they rewired the Sentinel to like fly them up to oh, Asteroid yeah, M, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is super cool. So, tough, yeah. so they come in, and, out and the Sentinel yeah. just like stomps down on Bastion, yeah. which is so hard. Yeah. Um, and then after that, they they honestly kind of try and reason with Bastion. They 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 stop and they're like, look. We've been telling all these humans they need to embrace us. They need to embrace the future. Yeah. This this guy is the future. We need to embrace him. Yeah. Um, so they're like trying to talk with him and trying to explain like, look, you could have been one of us. Yeah. You know, right. There was a version of this where if your mom didn't freak out, you could have been the original X Men. Yeah. Um, and he he doesn't really he doesn't really give a shit. He yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't care. He does. He's, he's already in too deep. Yeah. He he's, he's trapped. He's waving it off. Um. Humanity would rather die than have children like us. Um, I think that's what he says. And then he gets Asteroid M to fall. Asteroid M is falling, falling, falling. Humans are freaking out. Everybody's it's like... Wa- it's kind of like the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, if this shit hits us, then it's like it's over. Yeah. Yep. And then Beast kind of has an idea to, to fix it. Um, we get another little cameo during that. We see uh, Peter and MJ... That's they're, right. Yeah, they're watching. Really? Whoa! I they're watching. I could instantly tell who that was when I, I saw it. Yeah, that. they're watching. They're watching the news. Yeah. In in the window. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Peter. Peter did find MJ. Okay. If you guys didn't know, at the end yes. of the at the end of the animated series, uh, we find out that uh, Mary Jane was cloned. This isn't actually Mary Jane, and she's like an alternate. Place yeah. or whatever. Yeah, what the but, fuck? Um, yeah. oh, so spoilers, I guess he, dude. so. I guess he found her. <laughs> so I guess he found her, uh, which is fire. Um, if you don't want spoilers, you should watch the show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, what, that's the shitty part. Um, didn't want to watch Midman. Didn't want to watch Midman. And then uh, we cut back to in Magneto's mind. Yeah. And Professor X finally gets him he's to remember like, yeah. that he's Magneto. He's he's hitting him with all his different names. He's like Magnus. Magneto, da, 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 da. and then Magneto comes 
comes uh, or awakens in real life yeah. and he says magneto lives yeah. which was so fire and he takes control of the the asteroid and like keeps it in orbit and keeps it from hitting the earth which was a good moment um and the asteroid is destroyed well no, keep going. okay good. Get crazy oh, he's get, oh. <laughs> then we see uh it, it cuts six months later yeah, that's like because that. the asteroid is is getting moved away, and then it it just kind of poof, vanish. Yeah, yeah. everybody's gone. I was, like, I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and then we get the six months later, and Forge is chilling. We see this wall of mutants yeah. missing. Missing. Some of them say missing. Some of them say a wall. Yeah, and then uh, quick. So we gotta we gotta see zoom in and see which one said a wall. Yeah, I don't remember all the ones that say a wall, but then Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, theirs say off world. Really? So I don't know what that means. Oh, mm. and I don't know how he would know that they're off world, but that that's cool. Hey, Forge is. So um, guy, and then so Bishop cool. comes in. Yeah, Bishop, we, we haven't seen him season. all season. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we haven't seen him the whole season, and he says, uh, "It's less of a question of where and more of a win." Someone yanked our friends through time. It's time to go save them. Um, and then we cut. I honestly words like that get you so fucking dude, hyped. I, yeah, for like like just the for the next season, right? Like shit like that gets you so pumped up. And then we cut, and we and we see where uh, they all went. So Cyclops and Jean are in 3960 AD yeah. and Rogue and all the people with her are in Egypt 3000 BC. Yeah. Um, and of course Cyclops and Jean are by themselves again. Well, okay, so I've been I've been seeing a lot that they think Wolverine and it's a couple of there. other people are with Jean and Cyclops and then who all is with I think I have it. Who all is with like Cyclops and Jean? Yeah, I could this be, and there's a little, it's just a little, you know, conspiracy. Could we find Wolverine, like a variation of Wolverine who's been like, maybe in a certain timeline, they get, they're in there, like Cyclops and Jean are in that timeline, but Wolverine has already been there for like a couple years. He's already established like a lifestyle in this mm -hmm. timeline. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but they all got they exactly all at, at the same, same time. time so. yeah. True. Yeah. 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 But, so they're there and what they see is Jean and, and Cyclops. They see Nathan. They see si uh, or oh, Cable. Yeah. They see young, young Cable. And he's with um, the Ascani clan. Mm -hmm. And the mother Ascani. So, let me see if I have it here. Okay, yeah. So, Ascani, mother Ascani, is Rachel Summers. Which is Jean and, and Scott's daughter. Oh. Didn't know that. I didn't know that either. And then Rogue and all them, they're there and they meet um in in Sabanor. I'm yeah, pretty sure that's yeah. how you say it. Yeah. Yeah. In Sabanor. Yeah. Which is the first mutant that's apocalypse. Yeah. Um so oh. yes, 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 yes. You didn't know that was apocalypse? Uh, well, I guess that makes sense from watching yeah. uh, watching um X Men Apocalypse. But yeah, yeah. Um, so that's the first ever mutant. That that's how he was before he became all that. That's crazy. Um, yeah. And then we get the to be continued, and we get a little after credit scene of Apocalypse on Genosha, and he's like going through the rubble. Did you not watch the end credit scene? Yeah. Bruh. There's an end credit scene, uh, and Apocalypse shows up. He's in Genosha. And he's like going through the rubble, and he picks up. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Queen of Hearts. It, it might be, it might be a different card, but it's the Queen of Hearts. And he says, "So much pain, my children. So much death. And now, so much death is apparently a very important line. So, Apocalypse in the blood of Apocalypse arc. So Apocalypse, he has the Horsemen. Yes. He has a, ho uh, a yeah. group of people called right. the Horsemen, and they're all like different horsemen. Right. And Apocalypse, in the blood of Apocalypse arc in the comics, he actually recruits Gambit as the the Horseman of Death. Whoa. So he says in that end credit scene, he says, so much pain, my children, so much death. So Whoa. we might be seeing evil Gambit next season. <sighs> oh. <laughs> which Dude, which will be crazy. Next season has to be fire. Bro, which is gonna be crazy. Apocalypse too. Oh my. Yeah God. yeah yeah yeah. That I, just sounds so amazing. Yeah, and Ooh! and that's that's how we leave it. That's the end of uh, first season of X Men '97. Dude, so incredible. Yeah.
Such a good show. So I, incredible. I, I loved every... I really did I love every next, episode. I really did too. Um, the o- I think the weakest episode um, was definitely the Jubilee Costa mm-hmm. video yeah, game. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Adventure. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Um, but I, I like that, that felt so bit, long ago. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it does. It wasn't. It wasn't even like it was a bad episode. It yeah, was no. just. It was really the only episode in the whole it's season that Modoc. didn't just, have to do with Modoc, anything. But the um, what's the guy's name? The um, it starts with the M. Um, I thought it was Modoc. No, no Modoc, Modoc is, is floating head guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Modoc <laughs> is a completely different character. Um, <laughs> I forget. What is his name? Mojo. 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 Yes, 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 yes. So I thought I just thought it was me because of Mojo. Not yeah. much yeah. Robert or uh, Sunspot and Jubilee. Yeah. I thought you know I, I was just like yeah because I don't I don't like the Mojo yeah episodes right, yeah yeah I, um, I, 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 okay, no go, go you go I, I gotta figure out what I was gonna say okay okay <laughs> um. I think that was definitely the weakest one just because it really was the only episode that was, like, filler, it felt like. Um, but, dude, I loved X-Men 97, man. So I'm, so, I'm so hyped that we, <laughs> we got to go through this whole journey together. Yes. Yeah. Like, we watched the entire original animated series and then yeah. watched we X-Men about 97. It. We didn't talk about it, all of it. Yeah. yeah. It's but, crazy it's been 10 weeks. mm I didn't notice that. <laughs> Ten weeks. That's a long time. Yeah. Dang. That's a long time. Yeah. Bro. I mean, dude, I I have nothing but high prices for this for this show. Um, for the IP of X Men, like yeah, it had boosted. Like I was, I was like, oh X Men, you know, cool. Mm-hmm. But like this has made me like an even bigger X Men fan. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like has. I'm like locked in yeah. to like life now. Yeah. Like Thanks. it's like it's got me, you know, <laughs> yeah, locked in. Especially 97, dude. Like, yeah. I just feel like they, they balanced everything so well. It's the perfect X-Men story. Dude, um, so good. Like, they handle all the all the high school-y, couple-y romantic drama yeah, and really the good. action-packed, yeah. which is what, like, X-Men is. Yeah. That's what it's always been. So, yeah. like, I, th- I think they nailed the tone perfect. Right. Um. Dude, it's, uh, the animation really so fire, voice acting fire. Yeah. Yes. Also, yeah. Speaking of voice acting, um, the guy uh, Ross Marquand, I think is his name. Dude, he like imitated Professor Xavier's voice perfectly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he did such like a, it's, a, it's like very close. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was such a good like you know you know like um, his version of it was like so on point. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't like. Didn't, didn't sound exactly. Did not throw me off. It did not, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You would have thought, oh, what the fuck? How'd they get the fucking yeah. guy for Professor X? Yeah. No, it was, you know, it was a different guy, but. No, they did. They did great. They did great. Crazy. They did great. I want to, I want, hopefully next season, we can, like, interview a voice actor. I would yeah, love to. That would be really show. cool. I would love I, to. We definitely can. Yeah. I got some, I, I think I can come up with some good questions to ask yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would be sick. I know, I know, um, um, we should, like, we should give our, you know, our own, like, three, top three lists of our favorite episodes from animated series in yes. 97. Yes, yeah. go for it. Oh, my stars and garters. I need to actually, shit, hold on. <laughs> Back from my beastly shit. <laughs> from my beastly shit. It okay. wasn't blue. Y'all ready? Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to discuss mine. Okay, you want to go, go first ahead. since you brought it up. So, yeah. So let me do. Let me. Let me. Let me do this. So I'm gonna start. So, I am a big um, like, I love brutes, and I love characters that are just like old fucking strong as shit. Yeah. And like Hulk, I love Hulk. I fucking like I love just like I said I love big brute characters. Mm. Um, it's the I think it was the Enter Juggernaut episode from an, from the animated series. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, you have the Colossus Juggernaut fight. Yeah. And, you know, Jubilee's in the mix of that. Wolverine's in the mix. Yes. Yeah. Um, I fucking love that episode so much. Okay. Um. Also, I think. Um, I just think Juggernaut as a character, he's just so, like, I feel like he, most of the time he's, like, put to the side. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, if you really... And Juggernaut's character design, too, it's is so good. 
I think it's good. It's cool. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, as a brute character, like, dude, Juggernaut, awesome character. Yeah. And, like, the fact that he's like, has a cool backstory. He has a... Uh, what episode number is that? Chandler for uh, Enter the Juggernaut. Let me see. I'll find it. Um, But, yeah, I love... I just love his character design, and, you know, I just think he's... I, I just feel like sometimes he's, like, pushed to the side. I wish we could have got him more in X-Men 97. Yeah, me too. I would have liked to see him. I just, you know, he has, like, those lines, like, here's Juggy, and he just busts through the fucking wall. We didn't see him at all in 97, huh? I don't think so. Is yeah. it the unstoppable Juggernaut? Yeah. Okay, season one, episode eight. Yeah, okay, yeah. Season one, episode eight. Loved that one. Um, just, it, I, it just It's so iconic, because yeah. I love Juggernaut. Um, and so I'd say I put that one. So top three. Yeah, yeah top three. Um, so top three. I put that one at three. Okay. Okay. I put that one at three, and then I would do, so number two. I'm kind of on the balance of this, but I love episode five of X Men ninety seven. Remember it. Yep. Fucking, I think that I think that's gonna be in all of our top threes, dude. Yeah. I literally, I've never had like a a show like a, a cart or like cartoon animation, something like make me feel like so like I've been with. Because you gotta think about it, we literally watched the whole series, mm. and like Gambit, unfortunately dying is like the toughest thing that I had to deal with watching this show. Yeah, it sucked. Mm-hmm. Like it actually made me like sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, even, though, even, though, even though Chandler didn't give a shit. Yeah. Like, it, was, <laughs> it was fucking dude. It was so moving. Yeah. yeah it like really it was, was such a it good. It really was. And it was tough making. It was tough making that number two for me. It was tough. Um, I mean, it's, it's it is just such a strong. And because I'm thing. I'm a big fan of those demoralizing tragic stories. So I love a tragic storyline. I love tragedy. Sounds really. Like, it, trust me, it's not weird. In media. In like, media. In media, in media, yes. Thank you. Don't in want media. tragedy. I don't want tragedy <laughs> in real life. But in, like, stories, in, like, fiction, I love yeah. tragedy. That's where the it, compelling stuff comes yes, from. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're like, right. Like, it's just I love the tragedies um, and the demoralizing effects. That's your number but, two. Yeah, that's my number two. Number two. That's so who is, what's number one? So, okay. So number one for me, it's kind of weird. It's going to have to be because I – because, okay – so what? So you talk about X Men. You mm-hmm. talk about a, you talk about a storyline, mm. um, or, you, or you talk about you know an arc, or well, you know you talk about different arcs that the X Men have had. Yes. The most interesting one to me when I think of X Men, I'm gonna put at my number one, um, Days of Future Past Part One and Two. Mm-hmm. Just because it like when you th- like when I think of X Men. I always think like, okay, this is this is what Days of Future Past should have imme- like exactly replicated mm-hmm. if they want to make a banger X Men yep. movie. Yep. Just if you do the exact same thing with animated series, Days of Future Past Part One and Two, you would have had fucking groundbreaking X Men movie. Mm-hmm. The twist, Gambit, the, the when Mystique is Gambit, and yeah. you don't know like. Who which which gambit's real? Yeah, and you're like, oh fuck! And then the president's right there, yeah. and it's being broadcasted. And I think that's like that's a crazy fucking that that right there was like interesting for me to watch, even for it being like way back in the day. That was a good watch, and I, that's when I was like, okay, I really like I really like you know I love the animated series. I'm I'm really liking how this is going. Yeah, you know that yes. really like yeah, and that boosted my confidence. Yeah, you know because it was it's a good watch. It's a really good watch. Like Days of Future Past one and two, definitely a good watch. Mm-hmm. Like and and that's a, it's mm-hmm. a good arc for. It's a good X-Men. top three. Yeah, yeah. It's a good top three. I messed with that top three. You? I'm gonna go. Yeah, you you hit us. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to go, number three. I think I would have to put. Um, number three. Dang, because I know my two and one. But you like, put them on blast too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, number three, because I was going to say Days of Future Past, like the first one. You can say Days of Future like, um, you can. Yeah, it don't, it don't matter. But I'm trying, because I had two others in my mind, but I don't think they're better than that. Okay, there's some honorable mentions. I'll say some honorable mentions. But okay, so Days of Future Past one is number three. Okay. Um. Number two... 
Um, yeah, the remember, remember it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah. one's just obviously so good. Like you said, uh, crazy story, crazy ending. And um, and then number one is the first time we get to see Nightcrawler. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I had to put yeah, that in there. Of course, yes. Um, just seeing Nightcrawler. That's a good episode. Yeah, it's so good. I love that episode, too. So that, good, yeah. yeah. It's a good um, fucking episode. Honorable mentions, the second time we saw Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the first episode of '97. Yo. Okay. Um, love that. Um, because Magneto gets gets to be the leader of the X Men, yeah. and we're kind of yes. dealing with the yeah. emotions of that. Another yeah. thing I want to add with with the episode five, the music. Yes. The music true. in the ballroom. It's so good, bro. Yes. The whole thing, I think, is just perfect. Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Um. Dang, there's another one that I thought was good. Uh, I'm not going to be able to think of it. It was something. It was one of the episodes from. Um, what about the episode episodes. where it's like Wolverine and Nightcrawler facing off with each other? Yes. And that, he's like, but but the, I really just like that scene in particular. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so if it was a scene. That's a good honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's okay. Good, yeah. My Chandler is top three. Oh, this is about to be good. Number three. Okay. I think I'm going that episode that you actually just brought up. Um, where? Okay. Yeah. What? It, what is it called? Oh, it is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's Tolerance is Extinction Part One. Okay. So that's yes. Episode Eight of X Men Ninety Seven. Love that episode. Obviously, love the Nightcrawler, Wolverine protecting Rogue, fighting all these Sentinels. Yeah. So fire. I, the fight in that, like the the giant fight that breaks out. And it's basically half the episode. I, I just love it. And yep. that episode is just so fire. Yep. Um, number two, I'm going to put from the animated series, mm-hmm. uh, One Man's Worth, part one and two, oh, yeah. uh, where it's Professor X has disappeared and it's like this post-apocalyptic Wolverine and Storm are together and yeah, all that. Those, yeah, yeah. those two episodes were really strong. I really, really enjoyed those. Okay. And again... Those those were like episodes that I felt like yeah this is a quintessential X Men story yep. like this feels very yep. very comic booky this feels very mm-hmm. X Meny I, I I really enjoyed it um, and then number one is remember it yeah remember it okay <laughs> that is my favorite thing of of all of them like it's, it's just so, so strong it's we so, yeah. we get to have this fun episode at the beginning where we we first see genosha and we're yeah. all excited we're like oh this yeah. is hype this is hype and, and then you. it cr- boom everybody's dead it's and you, you just you, gotta bro. deal with that shit i don't know it's, it's such a it's strong next episode, episode you're like what yeah. Yeah. yeah and if we're just talking about seasons like i honestly I don't want to say it because, like, the animated series obviously made this possible. Yeah. But X-Men 97 blew the animated series out of well, the water. Well, it's like every and that's episode it, and, I, and, I think, and I think that's not even recency bias. That's just because, you know, we got better, you know, animation. Got better yeah. animation. We got better we writing. Got yep. Crazy. We got, we got more we got more open opportunity for better writing. Mm-hmm. Yep. They didn't have that window yeah no back in the day to be able to do this yeah, yeah. so we have to give we have to give credit and animated series where's the reason like yeah yeah got this and so thankful yeah spider-man yeah. 98 do it <laughs> <laughs> i did yeah do that dude. shit i mean every episode was just so good yeah i, I this will probably be rewatched like i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. rewatch this by myself at some yeah. point because yeah. I, I really did just enjoy the yeah. show yeah I just loved it. Season two, man. And I, okay, yeah, like you said, like it's it's one of those it's one of those seasons where like you just want to like rewatch. You want to binge it again because you know how we had to wait week to week. Yeah, we yeah. had to wait. So like, I would can watch yeah, it. just binge it all like it's a movie or something. Dude, I actually yeah. might be doing that pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. Now that you say that, because yeah. yeah, I didn't even think you'll about be doing it. that. I'm gonna catch up on Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, you have to watch Jim V though. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta wait. Watch that Jim comes v. out in like. Three, like two, three, yeah. two, two to three weeks. Yeah, two to three weeks, yeah. June 15th. The, uh, boys? the boys? The boys, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we June do 15th. need to. I, yeah. I need to watch Gen V. Mm-hmm. So we can watch Gen V. Um, should we? Do I mean, we want to do a boys rewind at all? It's gonna be hard. It would be hard for like a TV show. Yeah. yeah. 
I would say no. Just just rewatch it and then you can give your thoughts. Just because we were so early on the jump for X Men, yeah. maybe for the next thing that comes out, we'll be early to the jump. Like if we hear about, you know, if we have an official date, like maybe sp- hopefully, okay, if a Spider Man ninety eight mm. gets announced, for oh, example. We're, oh, we're we're so then we would Spider-Man. then we would instantly, yeah. you know, we would schedule it out and we would watch yeah. all of, all of it leading up to that. Yeah. But I think we just I think we just gotta. Pick and choose, pick whatever. And choose. Yeah, for sure. Right, for sure. Right, right. We might miss some stuff that we didn't get to talk about. Yeah, but yep. that's the thing. We should do a Patreon to where we get they get an extra amount of content they can pay for to have us talk about it. Mm-hmm. And you know, you'll see some extra content in yeah. there, like you know, that only Patreon supporters will be able to do. Yeah, yeah. And that's a good. That's, I like that's that a idea. Thing. Yeah. You know, we could mm-hmm. do that. Just a little mm-hmm. extra content. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you want to watch. Yes. Um, yeah. But that could be like for later. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, later. definitely not. Just an idea. Yeah. Definitely not now. People ain't paying to watch us right now. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. They probably won't pay to watch yeah. us. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Future, fun. future plans. Yeah, for sure. Um, but oh yeah, there. So. You might, have, you might have to put this like the news, though, because I saw online that they were actually like they let people get like the go on a Marvel MCU X Men movie, like they they gave them the go to go mm. ahead and get that going into production and writing. Yeah, I I, I, I saw it. something about that where there I guess there's rumors that Mister Sinister is going to be the big bad of of the X Men movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited, but yeah. I think that I think that wraps up X Men ninety seven, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think that wraps it up. Yeah, X Men ninety seven. I loved it. Yeah. Shout out Marvel for creating for probably real. their best project in since years. Yeah, in years. But yeah, it was good. And I always tell everybody like go go watch X Men ninety seven. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. Seriously, because yeah. if you Definitely. talk to because if, if you talk to people, you'll actually notice like people are like just shitting on Marvel. Yeah. And it's like I gotta convince hard for two people now. Like, yo, go watch that shit. Yeah, right. Cause you'll like that. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. will, you will like it. Yeah. You Hopefully, know? this Deadpool Wolverine. It'll get people back in the flow. Start of to build build yeah. trust again. And, I can't yeah. wait and for that movie. We won't have to do that, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, it is Marvel's fault. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you know what? I think that you know, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the ASG Rewind for X. ASG Rewind. Redo that. Yeah, redo that stupid <laughs> intro they <that you> just <laughs> stupidly just said. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think that wraps it up for the ASG rewind. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for our X Men '97 review or for the season finale episode. Yeah. Guys, what an episode! Yeah, but so yeah, crazy. like, Seriously. comment, subscribe helps us out a lot share the channel with Mm -hmm. your friends family um but yeah i guess uh peace